starts or it goes, what's on your mind? Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I have a lot on my mind, but let's just cover, um, let's just cover the, in your, like, I think second last session where you were, that is, I think it's titled um, how to pick a position, uh, something like that on YouTube. So you were explaining to some guy on how you took your stance on the USD. Like you were explaining to him the type of things that you were looking at and the fundamental, fundam, uh, fundamental ones uh, from the monetary policy to the fiscal policy and all those factors. And then you're also talking about um, the pairs that you're looking at. I think for 2021, yeah, 2021. So yeah, maybe we can look at that for the first part. And then for the last part, maybe we can uh, talk about how you uh, take positions on indices. Like when it comes to indices, what, what exactly do you look at? Uh, I, I think you have the answers to both those questions for what you're looking for. But essentially, if you watch that, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Maybe I did not explain things properly. But what you see in those videos, there's nothing that I omitted. Yes, I might have not been in depth because it wasn't like a one-on-one -on -one session. But there is nothing that I omitted. Everything that I shared there is what I do. Okay. So if you go back to those videos, you look at the sequence or you watch the, se the sequence that I follow, then you'll get an understanding of how I do it. Of how I look at central bank uh, monetary policy, I look at fiscal policy, because it all ties back to understanding what does it tell you? what does it mean what is the significance of it moving forward remember when we're trading we anticipate we do not necessarily trade what is happening now yes sometimes we do based on a, a, that's more like sentiment based trading but overall we are anticipating how what is happening today will affect the future or future decisions so that is what we make our bet on Okay. Yes. So uh, I'm not really I'm not really clear in terms of when you when you when you talk about fiscal policy, monetary policy, which part exactly did you not understand? Um now when it comes to me, no for 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 the for those two things like the the monetary policy and the fiscal, no, I think I understand them from how you explained it. Um on the first video, that one where you were talking about basic economics and how, yeah, I understood that part, there, particularly the quantitative easing and tightening and what have you, yeah, you, you really explained all this. So I have no problem with that. My problem was in, um, all right, let me say my problem is, of course, this will maybe would require a mentorship to come in, but I was analyzing the, the the statements that we look, looked at La Payanabu in those Zoom sessions. And yeah, I would get confused here and there because, you know, the, the, the jargon there is just, sometimes it can be, you know, too much. So I think that's, that's, that's my problem. They're interpreting their, their statements and what have you. Okay, why do you think that's a problem? Uh, I don't know, man, like, I think, Maybe it's maybe it's translating what I know about what monetary policy is and translating it into the real world now, applying it into the real world, like in terms of applying what I know about monetary policy and then applying it to like uh, directly on what like they're saying on their statements to take what I know and combine it with what their statements are saying and then to develop an understanding from that. I think that is my problem. Okay. So you think that is your problem? Yeah. <laughs> so what, 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 what is the main aim? 
what are you looking for whenever you're reading a statement or what are you trying to to find maybe if my question is not clear let me know but what are you looking for what are you trying to find why do you go to a monetary policy statement I'm, I'm i'm trying i'm trying to understand the goals of the central bank so i'm trying to understand what their stance is and uh like yeah what their goals are in terms of like yeah the economy wise and what they are looking at and what they want to achieve okay perfect so what is confusing there about finding those goals or identifying those goals with statement because you say you mentioned something about tilingo so what is confusing there uh i think let's say I think we looked at I think we looked at the the JPY I think we looked at the, the Japanese central bank um, uh, monetary policy statement there. So it's just that now I don't I don't have, I don't know the thing I don't know if you can open it here and Sakumbulu we to the monetary policy for which exact for which exact uh, time but there was a part where they were saying that easing so quantitative tightening and then they in the next paragraph or so they're talking about something i think that was contradicting what they actually said about quantitative tightening so what i'm actually saying is it it tends to be a bit confusing if you read the entire statement like for the like for a famer like me okay so there was there was a POJ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they mentioned quantitative tightening. Yeah, it's just that now the the statements I cannot. Let me just try and see which 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 date was it. I think I noted it down, but I, I'm I'm not so sure which but we exactly the. I don't are know. Are you, you using are you using are you using your laptop? right now yeah, yeah. yeah okay i'll hand you i'll hand over you can share your screen okay Okay. Are you able to uh, share? Should I share my screen? Yeah, if you do okay. see the option. All right. Let me just open the, the notes that I have that I took there. I think I might have the dates for the thing. Here. Yeah, I, I think if you can see this part here, I think this is the part we were talking about the B, uh, BOJ, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, um, because I was writing exactly what you were saying on the video. So if you if you're reading this and you are hearing um, a third person language, then don't 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 be don't be amazed. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't have, I don't have the date here. Um, the economy, yeah, I think it was the Fed, not the BOJ, because this is the part that says the if the, the Fed have a dual mandate. One, they want maximum employment and they want inflation to be a 2% target. They don't want to implement quantitative tightening too tight and that will throw the, the economy back, to, back into recession. So I think, it, I, I think yeah, quantitative tightening, they can show you, it was regarding the Fed, what the Fed had said they. I'm not so sure whether the JPY, I wrote anything on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what yeah. is confusing? Yeah. So let me see. Let me see. I think I've got it here on the POJ. Let me just check. Uh, I think without wasting time, eh, you can just. Um, you can just open the statements and then analyze for a few minutes so that I get it on, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll, of course, I'll be trying to interpret on my own from here on. Born would see, did I get it correct or not? Yeah, well, because I'm, I'm just trying to get the gist of the whole met on how to interpret what the, um, what the bank statements uh, want to do or want to achieve. I did interpret. Which is why I'm trying to figure out what you are struggling with. Because I mean, I'll, re I'll, I'll repeat exactly what I did. So Ingako, I'm trying to ascertain what are you struggling with? If you, can, if you cannot remember precisely what you were struggling with, then, there, then I go back to the point of what is the goal of, in, of, a state, of, of, of reading a central bank statement? And you just mentioned that to understand what the... What the, the the central bank wants to achieve, right? So what their goals are, right? So yeah. what then, now the follow-up question to that, because you are, are Konuk told us specifically what it, what it was, uh, that was confusing you. Now the follow-up question to that will be, what is the job of the central bank? Sorry, what is the what? The job of the central bank. Oh yeah, the, the the job of the central bank is to, uh, I think I wrote it down somewhere. I think it's to maintain stability, of course, in the economy. Their job is to make sure that uh, yeah, I think maintain stability financial wise in the economy. Okay. So if that is the job, the duty of a central bank, then in that statement, they will always gravitate towards their job. So now when you now need to understand what is price stability, there is price okay. by prices, they are talking about inflation. And I'll go back to what I said. If you say that the first video or the first master class you were able to understand it then that should be sufficient for you to understand each jargon that you will find kuma central bank statement because they talk about hiking rates cutting rates uh, they talk about um prices or inflation they, those words are interchangeable whenever they're talking about prices they're talking about inflation or they will talk about um hiking cycle, they will talk about monetary policy, they will talk about GDP, they will talk about or growth. So those are the things that they are talking about with statement. So in our community, it, I'm not clear, Muti, you, you're being confused because you need to backtrack like I just did by answering those questions. Okay, what is their goal? Or what is the reason for reading statement? And then what is the duty of a central bank? Duty of a central bank is to maintain price stability, make sure the economy is growing, inflation is kept close as possible to a target, and that is what they are, they are there for. So whenever they are addressing with statement Sabo, they are always focusing on those things. Whether they focus on, whether they will directly say that we are focusing on GDP or they will directly say that we are focusing on wages because how wages will also do what they will also affect inflation they will also feed into inflation. So dependent on whether they are trying to push inflation up or they are trying to push inflation down. It is consistent okay. once you understand 
the basics of a central bank, understand what they do, what their job is or their duty is. And then whenever you're reading those statements, keep in mind what their duty is, but absorb what they say they want to achieve. Okay. I know I get you. Even if, uh, if you can see here, uh, you say that price stability, when the price stability, they mean inflation. So yeah, yeah. watch. Yeah, which is, which is why like, I like, said in the first masterclass, I said that is the most important lesson. Because if you understand that where I break down uh, inflation from cost push side and uh, demand side and why, how, how it contributes and why they hike interest rates because they're trying to kill demand, why they cut interest rates because, because they're trying to boost demand by boosting the economy. So once you understand all of that, then everything else, well, in my case, everything else became easy. When it comes to reading a central bank statement and as much as it was daunting before, I understood my fundamentals, but when I started reading it, because I understood the basics that I explained in the first masterclass, there was no confusion for me because it became pretty much straightforward because I know what they're focusing on growth, they're focusing on price stability, and then dependent on where they wanna, they want to, or depend on what they want, they want to achieve with price stability, they will either hike or cut. So when I'm reading their statement, they say exactly there's nothing for me there's not i don't even need to guess and try to understand or interpret i take their word as it is that is with a central bank statement okay um okay i think i i get you yeah i think i get you now i i get what you're saying um Another question that I had was this part here of selecting the best currency to trade. Yeah, indices, right? Um, how do you, of course, I know that you, you, you look at the bank, the central bank statements and what have you, but when it comes to indices, I know that indices have something to do with Amash stocks. So how do you now combine stocks, what the central banks uh, are saying, their statements and then the indices, then um, how, do you like, how do you like combine all of those things and then come up with a trading decision for particularly look at now for my indices? What are indices? Uh, what I know, from the top of my head, I know that they, they, they it's like it's like they gorge the uh, the performance of stocks or what have you, something like that. Okay, yeah. What a stock? What what is stock market? Stock market is like it's like what? It's like um, a list of uh, valuations of a company of of different companies. Yeah, like what, where I'm what, are, what are what are companies? <laughs> I'm a I'm a companies of businesses. <laughs> what are businesses? Okay, okay. Don't don't okay. don't no, don't don't. I know what are businesses. What businesses are? You know what businesses are. Remember, we're talking about economics, la. What are businesses? Okay. So yeah, businesses. Uh, what can we say? Businesses are those ones, and, and I see because now it goes back to what you said, the Pagu, good basic economics. Like our businesses are the ones that run good economy, or that yes, that are part of the running of economies. So if you say that businesses are part of running the economy, and businesses are the stock market then what is the stock market? Stock market is essentially the economy. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, so do you look at like... Um, I look at the economy. You look at the economy. So you don't look like, you don't look at like those things. Uh, for example, let me give an example. I look, I look, at, uh, I now, look at the economy. What? Yeah. Only. Yeah, I look at the economy. 
Remember, okay. guys, okay. Don't, don't try, okay. don't try and complicate e e fundamentals. Okay, yes, you can you can focus on individual companies and none, none that make up their index, but don't try and complicate some fundamentals. I just said indices are the economy. So if indices are the economy, what affects the economy? Now we go back to master class one. Okay. All right. Is okay. the central bank cutting interest rates? Are they hiking interest rates? If center, central bank is cutting interest rates or performing in quantitative easing, will that support the economy or suppress the economy? Okay. No, I'm asking uh, you a um, question. You're asking me a question. Yeah. If uh, if the central bank is what cutting interest rates, cutting interest rates or performing quantitative easing, will that support or suppress the economy? Uh, that will. Well, let me just say that will um, lead to. Let me just interpret it like I, the, the way I understand it. If they cut in interest rates, which means loan repayments go down, then which means businesses can actually pay big loans cheap as well as people. And also that means that people have more disposable income for themselves. They can spend more now, meaning demand will go up, meaning that uh, if, if the interest are also, are also going down on the business side, businesses now have have more money to actually expand. So it means more people are going to get hired. So unemployment are looking at it to decrease. So yeah, such and such. Okay, then answer my question. You haven't answered my question. Very good explanation of connecting the dots, but copy and paste loyal. Just answer my question simply. I said, or I asked, will it suppress the economy or will it support the economy? You give you gave an answer in between your 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 response. Okay, so it, it will it will support the economy. The economy will grow because people are getting employed and business. Simple. Are yes. So now, if the central bank is hiking interest rates or performing quantitative tightening, which is reducing its balance sheet, will that suppress the economy or support the economy? That will that will suppress the economy. Okay. What is AMA indices or what is the stock market? It's a collection of companies. Um, so in my technical terms, I just told you what it is. I said we are, we are focusing on economy. <laughs> exactly. And economy, now we the just, stock market is the economy. So yes. are this, is the central bank hiking interest rates or cutting interest rates? That is the first question, which is why I said, I, re, I, I, I emphasized when I did the first video, Uti, that is the most important video. If you fail to understand that, because that, those are the basics. But if you are crystal clear in understanding that video, everything else will simply fall into place. November, 2021, around November, around September, November, 2021, we had the Fed actually come out yeah, it was November. It was November 2021. We actually had the Fed come out and say that, yeah, November lab, say that they are going to do what? They are going to start quantitative tightening. Or no, they were they were they were tapering at that point, not quantitative tightening. Quantitative tightening by calling or June last year, 2022. In November 2021, they said they are going to start tapering. Okay. Right. Tapering yeah. means that they are going to not reduce the balance sheet table, but they are going to reduce the pace at which they are buying AMA bonds. If they were buying at 50 billion a month, that's a reducer. 30 billion, 20 billion, ganjalo, ganjalo. That was the first thing that they said around, around, around October, November, 2021. Okay. With them saying that, would you have expected the economy to be supported or for the economy to, to be suppressed in the near future? I would have expected for the economy to be suppressed. Exactly. So now, so 
So now if we go on to each chart, we, we just that understanding. Yes, we ubusunga ngena kuma companies, agwinas, buangena kuma companies that, that form EUS30, wama companies that form S&P 500, fine, that will also help you. But like I said, stock market is the economy. If you understand what, or you have an expectation of the economy based on who, the person who is responsible for the economy, which is the central bank as well as the government, uh, central bank via quanti via monetary policy, government via fiscal policy, then you can have an idea, right, in terms of what you have to do or what you need to do. So Nasdaq peaked around the 1st of November, not the 1st in general, around, let's go into the weekly. So Nasdaq peaked around 20, 22 November. Lelo Vigilang, 22 November, 2021. That is when Nasdaq peaked. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then, uh, can you see my screen? Uh, no, I'm seeing my own screen right now. Okay. Okay, let me share my screen. Yaboni, I should see screen sharing is loading. Okay. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay, so here's yeah. the high. This is the weekly chart. Here's the high. It was around the, the week of Umshara 22 November 2021. That was the high that Tinestek made. Yeah. Right, and we said indices are an economy. Guys, stop over complicating fundamentals. They are simple. Yes, there are nitty gritties that 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 you can uh, elaborate more and all of that, but they are simple in nature. Then, Fed starts tapering. Okay, so, and by swing on the economy showed significant strength and cost of living surge. Uh, when did Powell announce tapering? Fed's tapering of oil will continue as announced in December, leading to zero net purchases. Uh, what is the current Fed pace of tapering? Uh, That keeps tapering schedule. Oh, no. This was on 3 November. Yeah, well, 3 November 2021. Yeah. This is an article with CNBC. Uh, Fed, Fed to start tapering bond purchases later this month as it begins pulling back on pandemic aid. This was published on Wednesday. November the 3rd. When did Inestek okay. make it high? The week of 20, of, the, of, of 22 November. The week that started on the 22nd of November. Okay. On the 3rd, they announced that they will start tapering. And we and what did what was your answer? You said it will, sub, it will support the economy or suppress the economy. Tapering. The tapering, it will... Uh... It will, it will suppress the economy. Exactly. So now you know that, okay, I need to look to sell indices. Okay. Because what resulted, what resulted in this rally that we had? Or what, not what resulted, what was the cause of this rally that we had? Like so, uh, this one from yeah from 2020 yeah from 2020 that was the pandemic pandemic aid. okay so uh, in simpler terms uh, quantitative uh, easing exactly uh, quantitative easing 
Okay. Uh, city announcement twenty twenty. Okay. Saga 15 March 2020. Okay. That's the article that CNPC. Yati Nifeti, Yati Feti, Federal Reserve cuts rates to zero and launches massive 700 billion quantitative easing program in an emergency. Because I'm full yes, I'm a gamma, so we fans or pandemic, ban ban, you all pep, but it's it's either it's quantitative easing or it's quantitative tightening. Ying a conte just in simple terms, nenze lesa funda agu masterclass one, which is why I said that masterclass is the most important. So the QE program, blah, 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 markets responded negatively with Dow futures pointing to a drop of 900 points when the market opens on Monday morning. That we understand. So, if maybe quantitative easing, will that suppress the economy or support the economy? That will support the economy. So, will you be looking to be bullish or bearish on the economy? I'll be looking to be bullish. What is the economy? The economy is a stock market. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> simple and then which is why everyone 2020 2021 20, everyone was like bias 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 but they did not understand oh. the reason behind it which is why it was easier okay. when they were buying now it's been difficult for all of those who were lucky just buying okay all right so they it made a bottom on umhlaka 23 23 march 2020. Saga 23 March 2020. That is when Ini Imaketi made the bottom. Okay. So, like, can I ask so a after, question? So, after falling, it part. made the bottom. Um, Saga, Yimazo, you'll ask your question. It made the bottom. Um, Saga 23. Not on 23, but if we get the March 2020, when did they make the announcement? Saga? 15. Yes. So it was previously because this was on Sunday. So they can't. On Sunday, so it was the same. previous week. Yeah. So now do you understand how it ties together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 March, they make announcement, your quantitative easing, 700 billion, the, the stock market rallies. November, beginning of November, they make an announcement that they are going to start tapering. What happens to the, to the, to the stock market? The stock market starts dropping. Simple. So that is how I trade indices. Based on the actions of pharma central banks, I assess, or based on the actions of the economy, but most specifically of the central banks, I assess how that will impact the economy moving forward. Will that be suppressive or supportive? Okay, so as long as like you, for example, uh, this this article, the second one of, of tempering with the, with the purchases. So as long as the, the central bank haven't uh, changed their stance on quantitative uh, tightening, you will keep on having that bullish stance on indices. Sorry, bearish stance on indices. Yeah. Because why do they tighten financial conditions? What are they trying to achieve? Back to masterclass one. Okay. What are they trying to achieve? Are they trying to slow down the economy or are they trying to boost the economy? 
they are trying to uh, they are trying to boost the economy by tightening. Uh, yeah, but Antu was said to use the one pre shot. I would have slapped you right now. So it's cool, Mayanga. <laughs> so are they trying? Yeah. Are they trying to boost quantitative tightening, boost or slow oh, down? Oh, sorry. With quantitative tightening, because your question wasn't so clear. With quantitative tightening, they are actually uh, uh, squeezing the economy. So they are actually um, they are actually suppressing the economy. Oh yes. What is the economy? The economy currently, with what we are talking about, is a stock market. Uh, not with what we are talking. That is what the economy is. So, if the if it quantitative tightening is squeezing the economy, then will we will we maintain a bullish bias or a bearish bias on the economy? No, I will maintain a bearish bias. Okay. What are they also doing alongside with the e quantitative knuckles and quantitative tightening? And have they started cutting on my interest rates or are they still continuing to hike on my interest rates? They are continuing to hike them. Yeah. So for me, I will still look to sell on my indices. Okay. So like with what you have said now, like the analysis regarding uh, in Aztec, is that what you do for all the other major currencies? Like you look, like you said in your videos, like that you like, it's like you're building a store. You you look for it for what they say in their statements, and then you build a case for that particular currency. And then if you get confirmation, when you say that, when you get a confirmation, less or also from the things that you're looking at, that is when you can actually uh, pick a position. Yeah. Okay. Because I've just, get it. Of course. Because I've, I've just showed you confirmation. We looked at two articles. We, we each chart is yes, chart, but we just looked at two articles and what they said at two different time frames, and then we looked at a market reaction. There was more than enough confirmation for me to take that position. Okay. So um, do you like, uh, you also mentioned in one of your videos that in as much as you trade fundamentals, you also incorporate that thing of probabilities. So my question is, let's say now uh, we are all, we are both bearish on, on NAS 100, right? Let's say um, you, uh, what, what do I want to say? Uh, let's say you you take that sell there, but then it turns out to be the a wrong uh, area to say like, so how do you mix your, your stance? Because fundamentally, it's like you have predicted the direction of the particular current or, or, or in this. Right, and then yet in probabilities, we say that we do not know anything about the direction. We just have to be there and uh, execute our strategy. So how do you mix the two? There's direction and then there's filter. No, okay. I go more in depth in it with mentorship, but there is direction and then there's filter. If you know the direction, your work is easy because you know what six months, Three months, six months down the line, in the, in the, in the at the end of the quarter or a couple of uh, or couple of quarters, if the if the fundamentals still support that narrative, it might get is always. If we're saying we are bearish on a stake and the fundamentals or the economic data still supports that in the next two months, nishinga nyugi na stake, it's the name yotik pelunyagi zobi sezant unless if things change fundamentally. That is what it direction is. That is what fundamentals give us that long-term play. And then now it is about filtering. How do you, what do I mean by filtering? Is it now the right time to enter? That is when you now use Onke Lamanyama tools. That is why we use technical analysis because we are filtering the trade idea, yet, which is now the right time to enter. Is now a log, are we at a logical area? Are we at an expensive price to sell at? Are we at a cheap price to buy at? That is when you're looking at all those technical, the, te the technical analysis, essentially, 
to filter your trade. That is when you're looking no. at sentiment. What is sentiment telling you? What risk environment are we in? Are we risk on? Are we risk off? Yeah, you know just, just, just on that part, what, what, do you, what do you mean by risk on, risk off? No, you can, you can Google that. <laughs> no, I just want to get you understanding. <laughs> no, you can Google that. You can Google that. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think those are the questions that I had. Of course, yeah, some of these questions require that I pay some money and requires and and uh, pick your brain. So, yeah, but I mean, like essence, I wanted to. But in essence, if if you if you understand those foundations, they should be enough. Those master classes, they should not out not let's not yeah, they should be enough. They should be enough. Yes, yes, I can elaborate more and clarify things. Uh, even deeper, add more to it, but that should be enough if you understand them. But if you don't, it will it will be as if they're not enough. Yeah, bro. So they should be enough with without you even having to get e e, e mentorship. Yeah, getting mentorship will make things easier because you will have full access to me. But I don't I can think officially enough because even today it's nothing new that I've told you. Well, based on based on where I stand, there's nothing new that I've told you. I've just said exactly what I said. Maybe I might have said it in a different way, but it goes back to what I said. Okay. I know it's understandable. And then uh, one last one, sorry. Uh, let's say I've analyzed on my own fundamentally and what have you. Let's say I've analyzed, let's say the, the, the Japanese yen. And so now I want to pick a pair to trade. You mentioned something about the, a weakness. You pick a you, you pick a weak pair compared to the Japanese yen. Uh, how do you de determine that this pair is weak? Sorry, this currency <laughs> is weak against JPY. Uh, hey, Pritchard, hey, has need. You love complicating things, guys. Pritchard, we just spoke about everything. We just spoke about everything. We spoke about it right now, a couple of minutes ago. We spoke about it. Like I'm still trying to, yeah, I understand everything that you said, but right now the make the majority we're focusing on this uh, Nasdaq pair. But now saying Shopee, which is, let's say I've analyzed the JPY statement and everything else. I've got in my confirmation regarding JPY. Now I wanna I wanna pay. The GPY with another current. You basically question I'm saying what how do I determine that, for example, the GBP is weaker than the JPY? Okay. Pritchard, I share the secrets and I sell the implementation. That is what I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I share the secrets and I sell the implementation. That is what I'll tell you because Nyabont, you don't want to implement it yourself. Ufunangi implement telling me. Pritchard, you are asking a for the implementation. A, I'm a, for you, you ask, it, you ask a, a week, no, because that is implementation. Week. What you are asking of oh. me is implementation. <laughs> but in but Nakona, you are asking me something that I've told you. And job an issue with when I yes, when when are you focusing on Nasdaq? Because maybe that that was sort of like a revelation on Nasdaq, what I just explained, because I, I said it in a simpler way with this is what I look at, and then I decide what I do with my indices. We spoke about it. See, it is the master class your color. That is the first master class. If you have an understanding of that, every other question will be answered 99 or 98 percent of questions will be answered yes it may it won't be 100 percent but 99 percent of questions will be answered if you have a cara crystal clear understanding of a master class one okay. now you're asking me how do i know which is strong which is weak <laughs> and I go back to the very same thing I said in the beginning of Inakuzan, of, 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 of the session. I asked you, what is the job of a central bank? 
Okay, the job is to maintain price stability. Okay. Is that yeah. central bank achieving that or are they failing? Oh, all right. So that is what I should answer myself. I, I, that is what I should like answer and uh, look for confirmation. Today, today, I haven't given you answers. I've asked you questions so that you can answer it yourself. That is what I've been doing, Gule Session Young. Because I could have given you answers, but I would, I would literally word by word repeat what you have written on those notes. No. Okay, so your question was, is that is that central bank achieving its goals or not? What makes a, what makes an economy weak? Uh, sorry, sorry, let me there's some noise here. Let me let me just mute for a second. Okay. Uh, please repeat your question. What makes an economy weak? Oh, yes. Uh, so what makes an economy weak is, um, hmm. yeah, your questions are, did, <laughs> what makes an economy weak is, oh. can I just explain it with Nindeleng understanding how then? I never asked you to explain Ngenzela meaning understanding. I asked you the question. So when I give <laughs> your answer, Ngenzela, whatever way, but when okay. I just ask my question. So I think I would just, I would just speak uh, on regarding e because a strong economy will be one way there's uh, employment, where there is uh, business expanding and, uh, you know, um, yeah, people like e, 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 cost of living is just in jail. It's not a, life in that country is affordable. So I think a weak economy is where there's un unemployment, there's uh, maybe let's say high interest rates, where there's uh, businesses are not expanding, you know. Yeah. Those are some, some of the factors I think that can show that this economy is weak. I don't know if <laughs> you, I don't know if that's making sense. Yeah, you, you answered you 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 overcomplicating this. Okay. What are the what are the three things we spoke about? We we nakuza nyokal, the first master class. We first master class, we spoke about uh yeah, of course, quantitative easing and tightening that could be demand side inflation, push side inflation. Yeah, of course, and yeah, those factors. Um, and GDP is, growth. Yeah, but GDP, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's how you identify a weak economy. Is the economy growing? No. Are they close to their targets? Okay. No. What are they doing? Nothing. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Is this is this other economy growing in terms of GDP? Yes. Are they close to their target? Yes, they are above their target. What are they doing? They are hiking interest rates. That's a good economy. Okay. All right. All right. I uh, know. I'm I'm getting you now. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Don't uh, overcomplicate this.